<laughs> so it's basically what it basically is. It's a it's a two door hatchback, or two uh, two seater hatchback. Oh, what if it's like a minimum? What if it's like uh, what's it called private cellar? And like the sums motor. up with the engine. Yeah, sums up the. Cause look at this. It looks. This definitely looks like it's been tampered with. I can't open the trunk or the hood. Look at these seats. Recaro suede seats. Super sick. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications because this series of video is actually pretty darn epic. So basically what we do is once a week, we go to our local Copart and check out some awesome builds and just in general show you guys um, what the Copart is all about. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds of damaged wrecked cars that go off for sale every single week. And this week in particular, we got some very awesome cars that we are gonna be playing and uh, hopefully they're gonna be on the channel pretty darn soon. Uh, we got a Z3 clown shoe, which is really rare. So there might be a good fan base for that one. There's an X5M, which looks like it has a dine in stage one package because it got the exhaust and a couple other things. But we're also looking at a Mustang GT350. I've had a Mustang before, but I've dreamed of a GT350. And with all that being said, smash that like button. Let's head on into Copart and check out them cars. What is up, yo? So we are now inside Copart, and the first car we're gonna look at is this Mustang GT350, which I've actually really badly wanted a GT350 at a time, and I couldn't afford it, so I got the regular GT 5.0, but it had a lot of mods, and it was pretty crazy. But this one here, I think this is a flat plane crank motor 5.2, not a 5.0, and it's it works a little bit differently. It goes too much higher RPMs, and it screams for a V8. It's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at this car, and uh, potentially, win it because i'm hoping to get a mustang or a couple other cars that are here on the auction currently so let's take a look at it look at this thing oh this side is all clean we've got a little dent over there these wheels are actually really nice and sharp the mustang gt 350r has carbon fiber wheels so it's actually crazy like you feel back here you can feel a weave of carbon fiber 295s up front dude damn that's massive things are fat bumper scratched here I think, yo, I think this is wider than the regular one. I don't remember having that. This is wider. It looks like a beast, dude. It looks actually insane in person. It has no no hood. But luckily, look at this. None of the front end is damaged. Absolutely, look at this. Whole entire radio assembly, all the core support, everything. The frame rail is safe. The bumper, ah, oh, what a bummer, dude. Look at that. Ah, uh, gotta <laughs> replace the whole bumper because of that. Literally, dude. Whoa, that sucks. Got a lip here. This lip is broken. Oh no, it clips together, I think. So the only thing is cracked. I think it's a couple pieces. This is all repairable. Everything on the bumper is fine, except for the bumper cover itself. <laughs> bummer. Yeah. That's Super nice. aggressive bumper, the front bumper. Yeah, let me see. Can't really see it without the hood on, you Oh yeah, I think it's gnarly, dude. It's got that Shelby badge. Right? That Shelby badge? GT350 badge. Look at this. Hand built with pride by Frank. Frank. <laughs> flat plane crank. Flat plane crank right there. 5.2. So it's pretty crazy. Let's go look at the actual damage. Look at these tires. Well, they're pretty fresh. So look at the damage. What we got here? This all on Copart pictures was completely. It looked like it was beat up, but in person, dude, it doesn't even look like it's touched. Look at that. Hinges are where they are at. We got a little bit of damage right here high strength steel so sucker's gonna be hard to pull out right over here just this bottom section but besides that what the heck dude the quarter panel doesn't even seem oh there's damage right here in the quarter panel but they mark this area this area legit has no damage look at that <laughs> but the quarter panel damage is right here that's how old i think these are they'll buff out should buff out but i think there's an aluminum port if i'm not mistaken I'm not sure on that and then we have some damage right here Right here, we got some damage, it seems like. Or why does it seem pushed in? See that? Mm -hmm. Is it other side like this? Oh, yeah, other side like that too, look. There's no damage there. We got exhaust, dude. And then we got some hanging radiator, look here. We got some 
radiator, something hanging under here. Look at that, it's on a bungee cord. That's kind of sketchy, dude. Some undercarriage or what? No idea, hopefully not. Got some broken off here. Rear camera, GT350, dude. Dude, I might get another one. Or get one. <laughs> or get the older one. <laughs> no, I'll get this one instead. Yo, there's actually a really good pick. It depends how much it's gonna go for. What's it at right now? It is at, auction is in, it's at 20 grand right now. Like $20,000. Hmm. Rumble rear brakes, flat tire in the back though. Look at these seats, Recaro suede seats. Super sick. Bro, this just needs a door. <laughs> it looks a lot worse in pictures than it way is in person. Worse. Pictures. Fender and your fender badge is safe. Damn, that fender is actually ripped up though. I like this, super tight. Sucks this one doesn't have the big navy. Oh, yeah, wow, I just noticed that. That's super ugly. The big navy is way better looking. Suede steering wheel. Has a roll cage from factory or? What the heck? I don't think that's factory, is it? No, I don't think that's factory, but... Rear seat's deleted. It's got a rear seat deleted and a roll cage. It's got the tail light in here. I mean, realistically, I remember having my Mustang. Dude, you can't sit in there. There's no room. Remember that? Especially yeah. with, like, this slant. Look at the slant of this right here. Like, there's no way you're going to... Like, if you do sit in there, you got to be, like, a mini girl or something. Or a super small guy. Should we buy or pass? <laughs> I think a Shelby will do great on the channel. Man, I love it though. I'm trying to start. Oh, dude. Wow, dude, this seat hugs you. Heck a tight. Look at that. Manual seats? I'm used to it, you know, I got an RS3 with manual seats. What is this, LC? Pretty sick. Gives me some crazy flashbacks of mine. I think I'm gonna get a GT350. Overall, I would rate this to be like a 8 out of 10 buy because it has very simple repairs and uh, the pictures on Copart make it look way worse than it is in person. I did notice we have a little bit of suspension damage, which is very minor, nothing absolutely to be scared of. We got no hard framework. We got nothing crazy, nothing scary. The motor is going to be 100% perfect because the whole cooling system is still here. This right here is a great buy for whoever wins it. Now let's go check out the next car. car we got here on the list is actually extremely rare it's a z3 something clown shoe rare type of bmw which i'm don't even know what this is let's take a look myself <laughs> look at this thing up it is a z3 3.0 uh clown shoe which has some gnarly wide quarter panels that's actually really really interesting looking let's see this thing <laughs> look at that so it's basically what it basically is it's a it's a two-door hatchback or two uh, two seater hatchback, which has a lot of trunk space. Surprisingly, look at this gate, dude. It's tiny. Look at this. <laughs> Where's the damage? One hundred seventeen thousand miles. Where's the damage? Interesting. Seems to have no damage. But what the heck, dude? Look how small it is. It's like a little thing is gnarly wide though. It's crazy. Look at the interior. It seems like it has like that E39 interior. 
So it's got the E39M steering wheel, which is a pre-facelift, so it's a 2000 steering wheel. And it's a 01, so I think 01 or something like that, or 02 starts the facelift, I'm not sure. Smells like crayons. <laughs> Typical BMW though. <laughs> Literally, they all smell the same. Five-speed manual, heated seats. Is that cooling seats? What is that? That's a cooling seat. No, I doubt it. I think it's just uh, low and high mo for a heated. Oh, uh, maybe. I was about to say, because it's not like, there's no holes in here. Look at that, very simple. Dude, everything is so simple. This is crazy. Super simple. What do we have? Coupe here. And I think, look at this. Oh, man, someone broke that hood thing. Oh, what if it's like a minimum? What if it's like, uh, what's it called? Private seller. And like the motor. up with the engine. Yeah, sums up the, because look at this. It looks, this definitely looks like it's been tampered with. I can't open the trunk or the hood. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. We don't have the key from it, but no key. Do not forklift. Oh, so it does run and drive. Look, silver BMW, do not forklift. So it runs and drives. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of small, but kind of has a lot of room at the same time. It's a very interesting car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Unless I'm already at the very far back. Oh. Look at that sunroof. Look how many speakers it has inside. Look at that. <laughs> sunroof, everything. This is super trippy. Oh, you got a radar connector. Oh, because it's so fast. <laughs> Not but. Now, I want to get inside that hood. I want to see what we got here. It's already a previous rebuild title, though. Look at this. Look. State Patrol. See that? Mm -hmm. 919. 9919. Yeah, so it's been inspected, which basically means it's already a rebuilt title, so it's been hit somewhere before. It's a weird car. Pass? Yeah, I don't really like it. <laughs> Here, the hood is huge. It's like a super hood. Look at that. It's literally like a Toyota super hood. It covers all the fenders, everything. I don't know. I don't know. For someone, it might be a good deal. For me, it's a little bit skeptical just because it's a private seller, what seems to be, which I'm not confirmed on that. I can check. One second, let me check. All right, so typing in the VIN number here on autoauctions.io. Autoauctions.io is a website I use to confirm that all the cars that I play are not sketchy, as in like, you know, they're not doctored up, they haven't been on the auction before, because many times you see that. And by the way, if you guys want to win yourself a project car, it's going to be the first link down below. Use my link to get 25%. Uh, more reports and stuff like that but looking at the z3 over here i know it's kind of hard to tell it is a third party is simply what we were talking about that the car is a little bit skeptical because it's a third party and but it's a clean title so that's interesting why did it get inspected i don't know it can be a clean title with salvage history it could be something like that because it shows here that's a clean title and then uh, currently at 850 dollars auction is pretty soon now they want buy it now price seven thousand nine hundred dollars this car here is probably a pass simply because i believe that there may be something wrong with the car because you always got to question the fact of why is the owner trying to get rid of the car on copart so maybe the transmission is bad because you literally can't drive it that far you can test it by going a foot forward and a foot back but that's not really going to tell if the transmission is good maybe he's having some other thing maybe it was like a water damage maybe something you never really know so me personally, I'm gonna pass on it just simply because I would rather have a car that's been hit, somebody driving the car to work gets hit, and you know that car is basically perfect condition because he was not expecting to sell it. Kind of see what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know, I would probably pass. Next car, we got a 2016, yeah? 2016. BMW, another BMW. BMW. Yeah, BMW X5M, which is one of my dream SUVs. And um, I think we're gonna play this one as well. I don't know, we'll see what we can get from this auction but it is right over there and it has an absolutely beautiful color from the outside right off the bat. Oh, here's another Z3, look, but it's not a clown shoe. Vert? Yeah, it's a vert. Anyways, this thing is gorgeous. It's literally just super sick from exterior to interior. Let's kind of go around the car and then we're gonna go to the front end where the damage is, but like, I love how they created the interiors on these. The interior here does not look like a cheap car whatsoever. How much is this thing MSRP? Um. Not even sure, over 100 I think. It's like 115 or 120 MSRP. Don't fact check me, but look at this carbon fiber. 
this carbon fiber is just beautiful the way this leather sits you can really tell you know like i don't know it's weird because you can tell like cheap leather from expensive leather just the way it's all puffy the way it's all wrapped around the way it's all neat and clean banging off some speakers so many designs to this one door panel is just gorgeous you know you got a double vent here you want up or down like this stuff actually like you know it's as funny as it sounds it's cool features here we got full leather here look at that nice beautiful navy banging off some surround sound piece over here the windshield is not busted alcantara suede or alcantara sunroof um headliner i mean it's just beautiful the rear end is stuffed with parts which can be a huge downside because they can scratch the interior but let's go to the driver's side um walk around the backwards though because the rear end is super beautiful in this car it's got some fat michelin pilot super sports and what are these these here are right here two 325s Jeez. 325s on an suv and these are all-wheel drive this is a crazy performance car i think stage one dine in tune it's at like 702 horsepower that thing will destroy m3s m4s well stock ones but you guys get the point this beast is just absolutely crazy looking over here we got a dine in exhaust look at that what does dine in exhaust mean that i can potentially have a dine in tune what can that, what can that mean it means we can potentially have 702 horsepower on this beast in general the car is mint there's no dents like everything you're looking at is just perfect you can tell because i looked at the car facts and it's a one owner car and it's just beautiful like the all the stats of the car line up is just perfect this rear end is aggressive as heck look at that beautiful let's walk over this way as i showed you guys and mentioned about the interior it could be damaged we can see here oil spilled in the ground due from this oil cooler over here the interior is a little bit beat which hopefully we can restore that to perfect spec if we do buy the car here we see some scratches which is a huge downside but you know that's kind of kind of what part of the game is if we've seen this too often it's kind of annoying but it is what the auction has to do they're not gonna be able to store this in boxes they're simply not gonna have enough room so we got some damage here hopefully can wipe away but look at this rear panel we got this thing boom super clean privacy protector i love the way the carbon fiber sits here you got some bucket seats man it's beautiful dude this thing is sick cool feature about this one here is it's fully decked out this car is literally fully decked out look at this we got i don't know which one that i don't know which one that means but suspension dampening um we got the steering wheel harder softer you know we got parking sensors cameras hill hold assist we got over here heated steering wheel like everything you want this car has it like it does i don't know it's sick like i'm i'm literally in love with this car look at the seats so sick man and it still smells new yeah it literally smells it doesn't smell like crayons it smells new oh this is pretty cool my m2 had that it's out of high beams so as soon as it detects a high or a car on the other side it turns off the high beams so it's literally cool so you can drive like whenever you're not you know whenever you're not detecting another car it's always super bright up front and then you got m1 and m2 this is a sports car this is not a typical mom or a soccer mom van you know this is a sports car this thing is crazy sports suv now let's go to the front of the car the front of the car is damaged and i don't think it's as bad as it looks this is one of those cars where on the pictures it looks very scary uh we can actually pop up a picture right now as you can tell that looks really scary but just looking over here this fender is most likely going to be replaced simply because it's not worth fixing it it's not damaged hard but it's annoying repairs like this over here see that and we here in the states i know people in you know elsewhere germany or something it may be extremely hard for you guys to get parts and you guys will probably repair this but for us simply it's not worth repairing why because i could probably sell this fender say it's a 300 dollars fender i can sell this fender for 300 and i could probably buy a new one for 450. so like that 150 dollars is just not worth me repairing this and this having a potential of cracking before because it's right on a bumper where it holds onto the bumper so there is some tension over here but that's the fender that's just kind of a little backstory on why i replace parts rather than fix you know if i need to fix that i'll fix it but if i get a good deal then i'll get a good deal the front end looks scary it looks like it just went smashed up and it's all in oil and stuff especially the pictures on copar had all the parts on the floor but taking a close nice look at it the frame has no damage absolutely it seems like all these x's right here was just to get the car totaled out because maybe the old owner didn't want it i have no idea why but literally like watch why does this have an x on it let's look at it right here are you gonna literally replace this whole entire part because of that millimeter dent right there no watch this example look this apron right here has an x on it why look at that are you kidding me that's literally like nothing 
Like one more piece, look at this. I don't know what this is, something with a charge pipe. Like it has an X on it, why? It's literally scratched and it comes right off. Like literally just like scratched, barely tapped. And they marked a lot, a lot of pieces. This is a very straightforward repair. And I don't think it's that hard. Although I know these motors are pretty complicated with the front assembly. And we are lucky that the whole car is stuffed with parts. The hood definitely got to be fixed. See that? Repaired, uh, not repair, replaced. Sorry, replaced, did I say fixed? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be replaced 100%. Uh, core support is gonna be replaced. It goes all up in the front right here. This piece here most likely can be even repaired. It's not even hit that hard. You know, it's repairable. It looks pretty straightforward. Everything is nice. This fender is completely safe as well. Look at it, there's no damage on it. It's covered in mylar. So is the hood covered in mylar. Door is not. But there's a little fender vent here. And then we got the thing. The front tires are what, three? 285s. 285s and the rears are 325s. This is what the C63 has on the rears. Really? 285s. That's crazy. This has 325s in the back. Got it. <laughs> Dude, it might smoke the C63. And look at this, just like walk over here. Look how wide it is, look at that. Like it's kind of fat, you know, it's kind of aggressive. It's pretty crazy. Looks scary in the front, which is a huge yes for us because we are local and we can check out the car. And after checking out the car, this is a super great buy, just like that Mustang over there where the pictures are much scarier than the car in general. So we will see on the upcoming videos of our channel if we get this car or not. Fingers crossed because I really badly want this car. in the car and driving back to the shop but this is actually gonna be a wrap for this episode on the Copart walk around if there is something specific you guys would like to see in these Copart walk around videos please comment down below like something you guys would like me to go in detail on uh, more like simpler cars just in general whatever your thoughts are and uh, let us know in which car we should play potentially win because if I could have the money then I would buy all of them you know <laughs> show you guys all of them rebuild all of them and make everything look perfect but with all that being said if you guys are new to this channel please lightly tap that subscribe button down below smash that like button and i'll catch you guys on friday's video peace out